Hey guys, Jacob here. This is going to be a quick video on the title update 20.2 patch notes. I'm pretty much going to cover everything in these patch notes. Also, if you guys are not aware, the servers will be going down for three hours tomorrow for maintenance for update 20.2. But to get right into it, we're going to be covering the patch notes, starting with the manhunt. Fix the issue with the progression meter from prime target displaying incorrect percentage on the map after playing in co-op. Fix the issue that was causing the manhunt percentage to not update accurately when accessing the map. Added the missing VO reaction lines for story characters in Castle Settlement. Fix the issue with the year 4 season 11 climax mission that allowed fence jumping, preventing the objects from updating. Then we get into tinkering, fix the issue that was hindering optimization for her attribute incoming repairs of the Catharsis Mask, fix the issue hindering the optimization of the second core attribute damage to armor of the Capacitor Exotic Assault Rifle, fix the issue that hindered the optimization of attributes of exotic weapons if the weapon type specific core attribute. Exotic items can now be optimized to maximum values by default without the need to extract attributes beforehand. Fix the issue where the progress and bar would incorrectly display the arrow for the lower value when optimizing exotics if the player had extracted the attribute in the library with a lower value than maximum. Added missing uh, localization for various elements of the tinkering menu. Added missing audio feedback when pressing M for tinkering. And then fix the issue when the menu crashing to items of the same type are equipped and the tinkering tab is opened and the tinkering station. Then we get into the descent, which is... Fix the issue with the stranded talent appearing twice in the Wraith Town pool. To prevent the Vindicator exotic talent purchased for the NSA store from retaining the same attributes and values as initially displayed, its stats now will be rolled every 24 hours. That's pretty cool. And then we fix the issue with the Black Friday named LMG not dropping from reconstructed caches. And then finally fix the issue that uh, resulted in not receiving any collectibles upon completing weekly project, which that sucked. And then projects, it looks like they've the fixed the uh, complete any stronghold mission on hard or higher difficulty ob uh, objective in the weekly DC project by completing undertaking any mission on hard difficulty. Then vanity, uh, these are some of the clipping issues. I'm going to scroll through these real quick. I'm not going to cover every single one, um, but it looks like they fixed the hot dog trophy, some of the hair, uh, retain their hairstyles while wearing bandanas, hats, and helmets. They fixed the sewer rat uniform, gloves, and backpack, the dagger shirt, handle boots, leopard boots. Uh, red painted shirt and the rig eyewear. Uh, UI, various store updates, resolved an issue missing thumbnails when confirming any purchase for hats, gloves, scarves, masks, shoes from the store. Remove the arm patch category from the crafting station. Update icons for the global event. Updated the description for polyethylene plating talent from Aegis backpack to show correct values. Updated description behind you talent to clearly indicate that it does not work against other players. Gears and weapons, which these are a few I'm very excited for. Uh, which I'm glad they reverted one of them in particular. Fix the issue with the Th Thunderstrike talent missing from talent library. And then this one, which I'm happy they did revert, which was reverted the Dr. Home exotic rifle changes. It now grants armor kits on kill instead of headshots, which I'm glad that's back, you know, reverted. Uh, fix the issue with the collector exotic chest uh, blueprint not being purchasable and Anya's after obtaining it from the either exotic caches or loot pool. Fix the issue with the Iron Lung Exotic Blueprint not being purchasable after Anya's attaining it from the Exotic Cache or Loophole. Then they fixed the Focus Talent um, with the Vindicator Rifle, and that's something some people were talking about a few days ago, actually. So I'm glad that's being uh, fixed. And then fix the issue where the Pummel Talent will remain either enabled or disabled at state after equipping or switching to another weapon with the same talent. Countdown. Looks like they fixed the issue with the Requisition Station unlocking after completing the tutorial. PvP. The Aegis and Mosquito Exotic Talent descriptions have been updated. Global Events fixed the issue with the challenge tracking UI missing for Global Events. And then other, um, the empty loading, infinite loading screens when try to load any character in console, that has been fixed. Fix the issue with the missing textures on handguns during the Pagon Safe House cutscene. That's been a thing, I think, for a while now. Uh, fix the issue that caused the Manic Blueprint to be attained by deconstructing any skill mod. Okay. Um, fix the issue where the elite force of Black Tusk faction that spawns from the helicopter's legendary strongholds were not registered as Black Tusk. Fix the issue that prohibited changes loadout and shooting range. I'm glad they fixed that. Update the in-game text descriptions. Uh, fix the issue that prohibited players from reaching the final stage in the Federal Emergency Bunker if they skipped interacting with the ladder. Fix the issue with random open world rogue encounter spawns with story difficulty stats. Uh, that could be why some of these, uh, rogues have been super easy to kill. I thought it was just me. Uh, fix the issue with the green quality conflict cache incorrectly showing up in the inventory after being bought from Danny Weaver. Fix the issue with Danny Weaver's shop restocking twice a week. Then fix the issue with the menu crashing and selecting multiple items in the inventory using the shift key. 
asking me about it for the title update 20.2 patch notes and this is to show you guys real quick on their twitter page you guys can check all the stuff out you want to click on it and read it yourself and you can see it right here and these are the times that these servers are going to be going down just for your information so make sure you guys remember that if you're going to be playing at these times you won't be able to play for at least three hours um, maybe more depending on if they have issues with the update hopefully they don't but thank you all for support and i'll catch you guys